Sorry, Pilchard. I have an early start today. Sorry, I can't stay. I'm on my way to a very special job. Oh, uh, it's very early, Bob. I know, but I promised Farmer Pickles I'd be at his farm at the crack of dawn. In fact, Lofty, you can take me there. Oh, uh, can I? Oh, I mean, yes, I can. Come on, let's not wake the others. <laughs> oh, morning, Bob. Glad you can make it on time. Yeah. <sighs> No problem, Farmer Pickles. It's really nice of you to look after the farm, Bob, while I take Humpty to the pig show. I hope you win a prize, Humpty. Bob, are you sure you're going to be able to run the farm and repair the barn? Don't you worry, Travis. I've come early to help on the farm, and Wendy will be up later to help with the repairs. Oh, <laughs> that's great, Bob. And you have Scruffy to help you, too. <laughs> See you later. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. I'm looking forward to being a farmer, Lofty. Oh, yes, the fresh country air. Come on, let's take a look at that barn. Hmm. Looks like the wind has blown down part of the roof and taken some of the old wall with it. No, it doesn't look safe, does it, Squawk? We better take down the damaged roofing right away. Lofty! Coming, Bob! Oh! 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 oh. oh. Look out, squirrels! Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh. oh, dear! Sorry, Bob! Are you all right, Lofty? It wasn't your fault. I... Oh, no! <laughs> you make a good scarecrow, Bob. I'm not trying to scare them, Spud. I'm trying to catch them. Well, you won't get anywhere like that. I won't? Oh, no. You see, we scarecrows know a thing or two, especially when it comes to birds. Well, Spud, if you're such an expert, why don't you help me? Oh, I'd love to, Bob, but I'm too hungry to think about work. I'll tell you what. If you help me today, Spud, I'll give you some cake. <laughs> cake? Yummy. After you've helped me on the farm. All right, Bob. <laughs> Spot's on the job. Come here, duckies. Duckies, come here. <laughs> Gertie's gotten into the sheep pen, Bob. I'll get her. Spot! Oh, now the sheep are getting out. Bob, we're here. How's it all go going? <laughs> oh, I think we could do with a hand, Wendy. Oh, Bob. Uh, I'll round up the sheep with Scruffy while you and Spud get the ducks. Dizzy, Muck, and Lofty, you can help too. Can we catch them? Yes, we can! 
again. Uh, yeah, I think so. Now, I think I'll repair that roof. I'll give you a hand, Wendy. Doesn't Bob the farmer have some work to do? <laughs> You're right, Wendy. There's that fallen haystack for a start. And there's lots more jobs than that. Don't worry, Bob. I'll tell you what to do. Well, everyone, it's time to get to work on the barn. I'm really hungry now. No time to eat yet, Spud. I think we better help Wendy. The thing is, Bob, have you fed the animals? Oh, no! Oh. Come on, duckies. Lunch time. Uh, need any more help, Bob? No, no, Spud. I think everything's fine. Uh, if everything's fine, why are you feeding the ducks pigs, Will? Oh, no! I picked up the wrong bucket. Looks like being a farmer isn't quite so easy after all. Well, after the ducks, all I have to do is feed the pigs, then I'll be finished. Don't forget me, Bob. I'm part of the farm, too. Now you're the farmer, you have to feed me. <laughs> all right, Spud. As soon as I've seen to the pigs. Oh, goody. Hello, Wendy. We're home. And guess what? Humpty won first prize. <laughs> and I won this big fruitcake as Humpty's owner. Oh, first prize. Oh, that's wonderful. And while you've been gone, I've fixed up your barn. Oh, I'll come and see it right away. I'll just leave this cake here. <gasps> wow, look at that yummy cake. Bob must have left it out for me. Oh. It's as good as new, Wendy. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Look, Squawk seems to like it, too. Did Bob have time to help you? Oh, no, Farmer Pickles. Bob's been much too busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob's a farmer now. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen Bob running around so much. There was a squirrel and ducks. Oh, and all the sheep. Oh, really? Well... Let's go see how he's getting along. Hello, Bob. Farmer Pickles. It looks like you've done a great job. Well, I had plenty of help, especially from Spud. Oh, yes, Farmer Pickles. And, and Bob has given me this massive cake. Thanks, Bob. Um, Spud, where did you get that cake? from the garden table where you left it for me. Oh, Spud, that cake was my first prize in the pig show. Oh, uh, well, congratulations. No, Spud, you keep it. It sounds like you deserved it anyway. Oh, he certainly did, Farmer Pickles. He really was very helpful. There's just so much to do. So, do you still think farming's easy, Bob? Well, to be honest, it's not exactly the peaceful life I thought it was. I think I'll get back to the quiet life of a builder. <laughs> Good idea, Bob. Being a builder must be a piece of cake. <laughs> get it? A piece of cake? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Ah, good morning, Bob, Wendy. Right on time, I see. We have a busy day, Mr. Bentley. And we didn't want to be late. 
That's right, Wendy. There's a lot to be done. Wow, look at all that mud, Lofty. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh dear, I nearly got all muddy. Looks like a tricky job, Bob. Not when you have a good team, Mr. Bentley. Right, Scoop? Yeah, no problem, Bob. And with Wendy, Lofty, and Muck, and, um, Muck? <laughs> Sorry, Bob. I got kind of lost. What's the job today? We're replacing this part of the riverbank, Muck, where it's eroded. Wow! Uh, what's eroded, Bob? It means the bank has been washed away by the river. This riverbank is home to all kinds of birds and animals, Muck, and it's our job to rebuild it so that the river will be clean and healthy again. Oh, great! We need to build the earth bank back up and cover it with grass matting. Then we'll plant some new trees to make the riverbank strong and build a new fence to protect it. We'll have to dig out all that mud, too. That'll be really messy. I could do that, Bob. I'd love getting messy. Oh, well, first, Muck, I want you to go to JJ's and pick up the grass matting and the fence posts. Oh, Bob! Don't worry. There'll be plenty of mud left for you when you get back. Ooh, thanks, Bob. I'll go with Muck, Bob. I have a collapsed wall to check. Okay, team, let's get to work. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Thank you, Muck. Uh, could you... Can't stay, Mr. Bentley. Lots to do. Bye! <laughs> Pick me up on the way back. Oh. oh, so, Trix, that's all of it. You can start with the... Hello, uh, JJ. Uh... I've come for the grass matting, the fence, and the... Muck, post... slow down. <laughs> Phew. Hello, JJ. I've come for the post. It's the... all right, Muck. Everything's ready for you. <sighs> Load her up, will you, Trix? Okie dokie, JJ. Oh, hurry up, Trix. I have to get back. There's all this wonderful mud. Yeah, will you stop fidgeting, Muck? Oh, yes, JJ. Sorry, JJ. Is that everything, Trix? Can I go now? Uh, yeah, I think so, Muck. Thanks, Trix. Thanks, JJ. Hold on, Muck. No time, JJ. Gotta go. Thanks, bye. Muck, you've forgotten the... Oh. Hey! Oh. Oh. Well, I never. Now, let's drop that one right here, Lofty. Oh, uh, if you say so, Wendy. Uh, easy, easy does it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Sorry, Wendy. <laughs> you should see yourself, Wendy. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh, I don't believe it. Oh, I'm back, Bob. Can I get in the mud now? Can I? Lofty has to unload you first, Muck. Oh, hurry up, Lofty. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, let's go! Hold it, Muck! You've forgotten the grass matting. Oh, no! Can I get it later? Well, we need it now, Muck. Off you go. Back to JJ's. All right, Wendy. But save some mud for me. Don't worry. We will. to JJ's much faster now. That's it, Wendy. All we need now is muck in the grass matting. Hello, JJ Supplies Yard. JJ, it's Bob. Has muck picked up the grass matting yet? No, Bob. That's strange. I'll get Skip to deliver it if you want, Bob. Great, JJ. Thanks. Skip. Oh, yes, JJ. Bob needs the grass matting to be delivered to the riverbank. Okay, JJ. And remember, 
No dawdling. Well, I, I'll go straight there, JJ. Mustn't dawdle. Mustn't dawdle. Mustn't dawdle, Mr. Bentley. <laughs> My goodness, that was close. Oh, now, is it this way or that way? Oh, no. I'm lost. <coughs> Hello, little duck. You look lost, too. <coughs> you are? And you can't find your mom? <coughs> oh, dear. But I have to get to JJ's. <coughs> it's all right, little duck. You can rely on Muck. That's me. What's your name? Quack. Quack. That's nice. Well, Quack, I'm going to have to take you home. Quack, 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 quack. Great job, Skip. Oh, thanks, Bob. There's still this mud to be cleared, though. That's Muck's job when she gets back. I, I could help if you like, Bob. All right, Skip. Let's get to work. Muck. Just in time. Oh, good, Mr. Bentley. Uh, what for? To give me a ride back to the riverbank. Okay, Mr. Bentley. Hold on tight. Phew. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. I got lost, and I found a little... Oh, wow. You're so dirty. Yes, we are kind of messy, aren't we? Even so, Bob, you've done a great job. The riverbank will look just great when the trees and the grass have grown and lots of birds and animals will have a nice new home. But what about me? I've missed all the fun. I wanted to get messy, too. Muck, your dumper's quacking. Oh, yeah, this is Quack. <laughs> he was lost, too, Bob, so I brought him home. Oh, that was very nice of you, Muck. His mom thinks so, too. I think she's saying thank you. Oh, that's all right. Look! They're going down to the water! <laughs> they're going for a swim by their nice new riverbank. Oh, well. No mud for Muck, but lots of clean water for Quack. Now, they won't be mucky duckies anymore! <laughs> so, here are the plans for your new delicatessen, Mrs. Sabatini. Deli? What? Delicatessen, Dizzy. It's a store that sells food from all over the world. Ooh! <laughs> Uh, I'm uh, worried that the store won't be big enough, huh? I've ordered a big counter with a fridge to keep all of my food nice and fresh. I need a shelves and a cupboard and a sink and... Don't worry. You'll have plenty of room, Mrs. Sabatini. There's a lot to do, Bob. Oh, yes. Uh, we've got to strip out the house and replaster all the walls. But we have a great team, Mr. Sabatini. Scoop and Muck will clear the site, Dizzy will mix the plaster, and Lofty will help me with the store window. Uh, Bob, is there any Rolly for me to do? Um, no. Uh, not really, Rolly. Oh, I'd really like to help you build Mrs. Sabatini's new store, Bob. Well... Um... Oh, I'll come with you, just in case. Yeah, but, uh... I gotta go and bake a ciabatta bread for my deli. i see you later. Bye, Mrs. Sabatini. So, team, let's get started. Now I have a few minutes to go home and practice on my violin. Cool! Hey, I love it when you play your violin, Mr. Sabatini. Why, thank you, Aroli. i make up a new tune for Mrs. Sabatini. See you later, Bob. Bye, Mr. Sabatini. Can we fix it? 
Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, is there anything I can do, Bob? Um... No, uh, not really, Rolly. Oh, okay, Bob. Okay, let's start on the storefront. Lofty, we'll need you to lift out the old window and put it over here. Oh, uh, okay, Bob. Oh, I wish I had an important job like Lofty. Maybe I can help Bob with those bricks. Rolly! Oh, uh... Muck, Scoop, can you put that brick rubble in the dumpster while we start clearing out the house? Oh, there isn't much rolling to do here, is there, Bob? No, I'm afraid not, Rolly. Well, um... Uh... I'll just go back to the yard, give you a little more space. Okay, Rolly. See you later. Yeah, cool. Oh, no. Poor Rolly. Hi, bird. Oh, I'm glad you're here to keep me company. Everybody's working on Mrs. Sabatini's new store. Everybody except Rolly. <laughs> Hey, Bird, we have a visitor! How you doing, Hamish? Hey! <laughs> Come on, birdies, cheer me up with a song! That's everything cleared out of the house, Wendy. Uh, oh, man, that had to make a hole in the modelli. Don't worry, Mrs. Sabatini. We're going to fit a big window frame into the hole. Oh, yes, so that everybody can see all of my new lovely food. Ah, the best builders in the world. Now I go and I make lots of beautiful ice cream. Mrs. Sabatini has this deli. Has his deli. <coughs> hey, birdies, I've just had a brilliant idea. Brilliant idea. Let's make up a song to sing to Mrs. Sabatini when her store's finished. Store's finished? Ah! <laughs> now I'm telling you about this deli. About this deli? <laughs> You can buy things to fill your belly. Fill your belly? The Sabatinis are the grooviest team. Grooviest team? And the food they sell will be a dream. Be a dream! Hey, so what do you think of our new song for Mrs. Sabatini, Muck? Oh, it's good. But, um, well, there's something missing that I just can't put my digger on. Ah, put my digger on. I'm sure you'll get it right, though. You're not doing it right, birdies. Come on, it needs to be perfect. The ceiling light goes up there, and there are five electric outlets on each side of the counter. Huh, why does Mrs. Sabatini need 10 electric outlets, Wendy? Well, for all her store appliances. Her refrigerated counter, her fan, her freezer, her cooler, her hot plate, her blender, um... I'm back, Bob! Hi, Muck. Have you seen Rolly? The Sabatinis are the grooviest team. Grooviest team? <laughs> no, 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 no! It's just not right! It's just not right! <laughs> 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 Oh, well, I'll just have to sing it all myself now. Okay, take it away, Rolly. Now, the Sabatinis are the grooviest team. Toot, 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 toot. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, it's even worse now. I don't think I can sing this song without Bert and Hamish. Bird and Hamish. <laughs> Bird! Hamish! Mr. Sabatini! Mr. Sabatini? Hey, what's wrong, eh? I've been horrible to Bird and Hamish, Mr. Sabatini. I'm really sorry. You weren't doing anything wrong. We just needed something else. Like Mr. Sabatini's wicked violin! Wicked violin? Ah! Oh, everything looks so wonderful. My Angela will be so pleased. Oh, uh, it's a shame Rolly's not here. Uh, what's that noise, Bob? Rolly! Now I'm telling you about this deli. About this deli? <laughs> You can buy things to fill your belly. Fill your belly? It ain't easy, I can tell you, man. Who can make it happen? The Sabatini's count! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, Rolly, that is the most beautiful song I ever heard. It's called Down in the Deli, yeah. And we made it up for the opening of your new delicatessen, Mrs. Sabatini. Oh! You've done a wonderful a job, Bob. Thanks, Mr. Sabatini. We all had an important job to do today, but I think Rolly had the most important job of all. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Bob. Oh, 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 it's windy tonight, Farmer Pickles. There's a storm on the way, Travis. I've just heard it on the radio. Oh, no. I don't like storms. Aha, the barn. I'll be safe in there. No silly old storm's gonna worry Spud. I don't believe it! What a mess! Oh! Ouch! Spud, what happened? You all right? No, I'm not, Travis. Look at my nose! <laughs> oh well, Spud, you can fix that later. Right now, we have to help Farmer Pickles clear his yard. But what about... But... No buts, Spud. There's work to be done. That was a really bad storm. Yeah, I was nearly blown away. Morning, everyone. Goodness, what a mess. Yes, and there's a lot to do, Bob. I have to get up to the farm. Farmer Pickles just phoned to say the storm has done a lot of damage. I'll need Scoop, Muck, and Lofty to help me. I'll get started right away. OK, everybody, let's go. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Morning, Farmer Pickles. Morning, Travis. Morning, Spud. Oh, Farmer Pickles. A tree fell on the barn and bent my nose. Bob's coming to fix it. What, my nose? No, Spud. The barn. I can fix that, Farmer Pickles. Sorry, Travis, but it's a big job. That's why I called Bob. Oh. 
Morning, everyone. Oh, wow, Farmer Pickles. This is a mess. I know, Bob. Can you fix it? Of course we can. Muck, Scoop, you start clearing the yard. No prob, Bob. Lofty, you come with me. We'll get to work on the barn. Travis, can you and Spud get some hay and feed the sheep? Oh, all right, Farmer Pickles. All right, sheepies. No need to push. There's plenty of hay for everyone. Hey, Spud, look at that tree. <laughs> oh, yes. The storm must have made it go all crooked. Better keep out of the way. It might fall down. We can always pull it down. Then it'll be safe. Oh, I don't know about that, Spud. Go on. You can do it, Travis. You're a tractor. That's what tractors do. You're right, Spud. Farmer Pickles is going to thank me for this. Okay, Lofty, I need you to lift the tree away from the barn, huh? then lay it down just here so I can saw it up into logs. Oh, uh, all right, Bob. Oh, 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 uh, uh, oh, oh. Uh. Oh, I've done it. Well done, Lofty. Is it our turn now, Bob? That's right, Muck. I want you and Scoop to take down the rest of the barn and stack it in the center of the yard. But remember, be careful. No prob, Bob. What's this? What are my sheep doing here? <laughs> hey, hey, don't do that, Tickles. <laughs> Something must have happened, Bob. Lofty, can you go to the field and check on Travis and Spud while we carry on here? Oh, uh, y yes, Bob. On my way. Oh, 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 oh. Come oh. on, Travis. Pull harder. Oh, I, I'm doing my best, Spud. Oh. Uh, hello, Travis. What are you doing? I'm trying to pull down this tree because it's dangerous and Farmer Pickles will be really grateful. Can you help me, Lofty? Uh, I could help a little bit. Oh! 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 Thanks, Lofty. Ha ha ha! Look, squirrels! Where did they come from? Uh, I think the tree was, uh, their home. Oh no! What am I going to do? All finished, Farmer Pickles. Thanks, Bob. Those logs will be just right for my wood-burning stove. Lofty can store them away when he gets here. Come to think of it, he should be back by now. Hmm. I think we should go and investigate. <laughs> Come on, little squirrels. Come to Spuddy. I think it's your nose, Spud. They don't like it. Let me try. Come on, squirrels. We only want to play. Spud, Travis, what's going on? The sheep are back at the farm looking very hungry. Sorry, Farmer Pickles. We, uh... It was the tree, you see. We didn't mean any harm. And now the squirrels are homeless. I think you'd better tell us the whole story, Travis. So you see, it's all my fault. Well, you shouldn't pull down a good tree, Travis. I'm really sorry, Farmer Pickles. You could have hurt yourselves. Sorry, Bob. And now you have to find the squirrels somewhere to live. Couldn't you build them a new tree, Bob? Trees grow, Muck. You can't build them. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You could build them a little den, Bob. I suppose I could, Travis. That's a fantastic idea. All right, everyone. We'd better get to work. Listen, Lofty, I have a job for you. I want you to go to the garden center, and when you're there, make sure... I 
I think the squirrels will be very happy in their new home. But why did Scoop dig two holes? It's for another tree, Farmer Pickles. Lofty's gone to get it. Oh, here you are, Travis. Uh, a beautiful new tree. Now the squirrels have a new home and somewhere to play. I'm sorry I was so silly, Farmer Pickles. Well, we all make mistakes, Travis. But that's a very good idea to plant a new tree. Oh, thank you, Farmer Pickles. If you're so clever, Travis, why haven't you fixed my nose? Oh, well, as a matter of fact, Spud, I asked Farmer Pickles to get you a new one. <laughs> Here you go, <gasps> Spud. A nice new parsnip. Wow! Thanks, Travis. Farmer Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. I love my new nose. Do re mi fa so la ti nose. <laughs> Lofty, the air conditioning unit's ready for Mr. Sabatini. Oh, yeah, okay. <sighs> just one more shelf, Bob. They look just great, Wendy. Mrs. Percival will be happy. Oh, look! Paintings! Molly painted them, Lofty. And she's painting one of you. Of me? Oh, uh, can I see it? <laughs> when I finish these shelves, Lofty. Oh, uh, is painting pictures hard? Oh, uh, it's very hard. I don't think I can be an artist. Come on, Lofty. I need you to lift this air conditioning unit. I'm coming, Bob. Oh, it's really big. What does it do, Bob? Well, when the weather's too hot, it blows out lots and lots of cool air. Oh, cool air? Oh, how brilliant. And after we do this job for Mr. Sabatini, we can get the wallpaper from JJ's and finish up the library in the school. Such a busy day. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yes, I think so. Oh, Bob, I'm so glad you are here. My restaurant is a very busy now, but it gets us so hot. Don't you worry, Mr. Sabatini. We'll get you nice and cool in no time. is a nice and a cool. Lots of new customers will come to eat now, Bob. Hmm, I think I'm gonna repaint it. Oh, uh, why don't you use the colors of the things you cook, Mr. Sabatini? What do you mean, Lofty? Oh, uh, yellow and green, like the peppers? That's a great idea, Lofty. Lofty, you are a genius with the color. Oh, uh, am I? Oh, yes, but it's a shame that you're too big to get inside the restaurant. You could have helped me to paint. Oh, oh, dear. Hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, thanks, Wendy. Bye. Lofty, could you go to JJ's? That wallpaper will be delivered any minute, and they're going to need it at the school library. Oh, oh, uh, on my way, Bob. So you know what to do, Trex. Tidy up the yard and not cause any trouble, JJ. Not cause any trouble? <laughs> <laughs> right, Amos, we won't be long. Hello, Lofty. Oh, hello, JJ. Hello, Skip. What's the matter, Lofty? I've come to wait for the wallpaper for the school library. No, I mean, why do you look so sad? Molly's painting a picture of me. But that's really exciting. Oh, uh, yeah, but I'd like to be an artist, too. If only it wasn't so hard. Don't worry, Lofty. You could help me tidy up the yard. That'll be fun. Oh, um, 
All right. Okay, let's put all the sand over here and, and, and the cans of paint over there. Oh, uh, can I put the red ones next to the green ones? They look really pretty. All right, Lofty. Ah! Oh, uh, am I? Really? Yeah, but I'm much faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't this exciting? Oh, my. This furniture is lovely. Let's have a cup of tea, and when the wallpaper arrives, we can start. Up. See if the wallpaper's been delivered. Yeah, Wendy said it's been specially made. All different colors. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. All right, Tizzy. We'll go to JJ's. Bye, Mr. Sabatini. Thanks again, the bub. Lofty, look. I've stacked these really high. Uh oh, uh, I'm not sure they. Oh, oh, uh, uh, oh, n no. Look out, Trix. Look out, Trix. Oh, no. Hello. Delivery of wallpaper for Mrs. Look out, Mr. Dixon! Wallopty! Oh. Wow! What a mess! Are you all right, Lofty? Mr. Dixon? Oh. Lofty saved me, Bob. Uh, yeah, but I squashed the wallpaper. Look! It was an accident, Lofty. I'm just big and clumsy. I'll never be an artist. It's all right, Lofty. Muck, Dizzy, you get back to the yard. I'll help Lofty and Trix tidy up before JJ gets back. I'm really sorry, JJ. I know, Lofty. Wendy will be at the school now. I better tell her. I'll just get the last of this paint cleaned up. Uh, JJ. Is there any more wallpaper? It's too plain, Lofty. Mrs. Percival wanted really bright colors for her library. Huh. Bright colors? Huh. Oh! Lofty! What are you doing? I've had an idea. A really big idea. Uh, yeah, I think so. What is it, Lofty? Um, Trix, could you help me? You bet! Can we, uh, fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. <laughs> What's the plan? Fantastic! Tire painting! <laughs> Very clever, Lofty. All dry. We're just in time. Wallpaper's here, but it's not quite what you ordered. Oh, Bob, it's delightful. Where on earth did you get it? I'll tell you later. Come on, everyone. Thank you, everyone. It looks marvelous. <laughs> Isn't Lofty clever? Very artistic. Let's go and tell him. Oh, uh, does the library look all right? It looks fabulous. And I know who I have to thank. It was Lofty. <laughs> Lofty, that was a very clever idea. And such lovely colors. Well, you know, the Paint marks gave me the idea. Lofty, I think Molly has something to show you. Ta-da! Cool! Oh, that's brilliant! It's a thank you from all of us. And I'm calling it Lofty the Artist. Oh, uh, is that me? Lofty the Artist? Ha 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 